like an accidental photogra pho photographer, <laughs> accidental photograph. I do have a page on my website called The Accidental Photographer. Hello, everybody. It is Sunday, uh, January 20th, I believe. Um, I only know that because it's already like 4 o'clock in the afternoon or something. 3.32. Um, it's been a crazy day. So we had an Intervals of Sanity broadcast today, um, to this morning, earlier. And I will link that channel below. Um, it is a channel I have with some friends of mine. We have um, art and life chats. It's not an art tutorial channel. We talk and chat and laugh and cry sometimes and share experiences. It's a fun channel. So um, today we were talking about taking out the trash. That was an interesting conversation. <laughs> um, then after I was done with that, I had some lunch and I spent the day um, getting some more products ready for Etsy. I've got two new listings, um, one called Bad Canvas, <laughs> Bad Canvas Pack. So I have, of course, painted a lot of things on canvas that I don't care for. So I'm an artist. Just because you're an artist doesn't mean everything you create that you like. I have plenty, I have journals full of stuff I can't stand. Anyway, canvas is not an exception. And I usually paint over it once, twice, three times, but at some point I'm sick of painting over it. So I just pull it off the wooden frame and I rip it up into pieces, make journals out of it. And when I get sick of doing that, I wrap up pieces of it into bundles and sell it to you all. So I have that for sale. There's only six bundles at the moment. Um, I also have plenty of mistake stuff. So whether there are art experiments gone wrong, things I don't care for, things I've made for two, YouTube that I only needed to use a little bit of and I have all this extra stuff, uh, painty papers, product packaging that's been printed wrong, stickers that were cut wrong. It, it could be, really it could just be anything. You could call it an embellishment pack, but I hesitate to do that because some of the stuff is, you know, packaging that was done incorrectly or stickers that were print, cut incorrectly, or it's mistakes. Shrinky, uh, my shrinking thing, if you haven't seen that in one of the vlogs lately, I had a old thing of shrinky ink plastic that you use in your inkjet printer, and I used it up, and I don't think too many of them came out right, let's put it that way, most of them were wrong. Um, so I've been putting them in the mistake packs. So I've got seven of the mistake packs that are also ready to go. Um, that took, you know, quite a bit of the day, and then I had to, you know, sort some trash and do some cleaning up here in the art room. Of course, I found some things I want to use in the journal or one of the ones that are on or near the table. And, um, yeah, now I'm just going to go downstairs and hang out with the husband. He's been busy packing all day because he's getting ready to go out tomorrow on an overnight to California for uh, work and um, his Masonic Lodge, and he will be, he's leaving tomorrow, he'll be back Tuesday. I don't have a problem with telling you all that here in the vlog, because you know what? By the time you all see that, this, he'll be, wait, he'll be back for quite a while. <laughs> so anyway, so we're, we've been doing that, doing laundry and all of that stuff and getting him packed, and I have to get up at the butt crack of dawn and take him to the airport, so that's fine. But that's a lot of stuff already, huh? He's been doing laundry too. He's such a good guy. So anyway, we're gonna just go chill on the sofa for a little bit. I'm going to work on my next eyeball in my eyeball journal. And um, yeah, it's gonna be a lot of fun. I've gotta start filming February this week. So that's gonna be my focus this week is getting February filmed now that doctor's appointments and commitments and stressful things are done. <laughs> so I can focus on the creative, I love that. So. I'm gonna focus on February. I've got some things I wanna do that involve making um, small travel art kits, not just watercolor. Um, I've done it before on my channel, but I'm gonna do it again. I've got some new ideas, so, but I'm waiting for parts. So um, as soon as all the parts come in, I'll let y'all know. 
And I think that's it for the moment. I can't think of anything else. I really need to go downstairs and have some more lemon water. Um, I have been a bottled water, lemon water addict from the, the, pre, the store bought kind, like from Nestle. Um, my, it's my mother's fault. Mom, it's your fault. Um, we stayed with them a few years ago um, uh, when we were going to Alaska and she got us hooked on the lemon and orange water. And I'm really trying to break that habit because though all those plastic bottles are not good for the environment. And I would rather make my own lemon water, which I've been doing and I haven't had a bottled water in over a week. I think it's like a week and a half. So anyway, and I'm trying to get my diet under control. I'm working on it. Uh, anyway, so I'm gonna go downstairs and have some more lemon water because I'm thirsty. And I'm gonna sketch another eyeball and order the rest of the parts I need for some YouTube videos. And then tomorrow, after I take him to the airport, I'm gonna plan out my filming schedule and write out what I need to film which I always do before I start filming. I usually get my pad of paper, this one. I make a list of all the videos I need to film and it stays on my desk until I get them all filmed and I get them all checked off. So I'm going to go through my planner, which is where my commitments lists are. I'm gonna make my list for February, which includes the, the prompts if there is one. And I am gonna get everything filmed. I did. Well, we made it home. I didn't get lost. I know you're saying, sorry about the wobbly camera. I know you're saying, but you use GPS. Yeah, so I still get lost with GPS. I'm that person. Hey guys, so we definitely have deer in next to our house because I was just outside getting the garbage cans and bringing them back up after the garbage pickup. And I think I interrupted deer lunch in my front yard, um, which I didn't even notice. I went out straight to the cans, like just focused on getting the cans and coming back in. And when I was bringing the cans up, I noticed the whole flock of young deer or does and babies. I don't know anything about deer. Um, anyway, they were in the woods, like literally right next to my driveway. So anyway, I think I might have interrupted lunch. And when I was walking back, I noticed there were fresh um, hoof prints in the little bushes and dirt patch in our front yard. So anyway, that's interesting. I like it though. All right, I'll Hoping I would, they were still out here, I would get a picture, but I think between me disturbing them and the children next door out here um, playing in the front yard and riding their bikes, I think we've scared them all off. But they were like maybe six feet from me, eight feet from me pretty cool. Anyway, All right, I have been rendering um, the vlog. Um, if you're watching this one you haven't and you haven't seen last week's you might want to go watch it. It is a longer vlog than normal like by twice the length and I'm sorry about that it's over an hour but I do some acrylic pouring in it. I show you how to build a small mini watercolor kit in it. I show you my travel kit setup in it. Um, and I have lots of stuff to share in the vlog, so there was just no way to end. It was over two hours, so I did cut an hour of it out, so, you know. Um, but if you're interested in any of those things, you might want to go watch that vlog. Just put me on in the background and don't pay any attention to me until I say something that you find interesting. <laughs> I don't know. Um, that's it for the moment. It's rendering right now and I will be uploading it later and adding the million links to the description that I promised in the video I would. <laughs>
hopefully I didn't miss anything. If I ever do, you all comment and leave something in the comments and I will add the link into the description and let you all know besides that in, as a reply. Um, I do, I mean, I'm only human, I forget stuff, so anyway. And isn't this angle much better with regards to my fat neck than this one down here that you always get when you're in the car? And she's very unattractive, you know, after watching this vlog. It's not a good camera angle, anyway. All right, I'm gonna go downstairs while that's rendering. I'm gonna make a cup of tea and I'll be back. Morning, everybody. It is Tuesday morning. It's late morning, it's 11.31. It's of course raining. I do live in the Pacific North Northwest and it rains a lot. Um, I spent the morning doing my daily postings. I got a phone call from my cousin um, asking some ab advice about a sewing project she's working on. We had a nice chat, that was really sweet. I had some Etsy orders and stuff to ship out so I'm at McCann's right now. Well, and I've got to back up without anybody whacking into me. Which is a challenge someday in this parking lot. Um, some days. Hey guys, <clears throat> it's Thursday morning, uh, January 23rd, maybe? Maybe 24th? Hang on. 24th. Yesterday was the 23rd. I'm like a day behind. I just realized a couple minutes ago, I was walking down to the little post box thing to drop off one Etsy order and I realized I never vlogged yesterday <laughs> well that only took about 15 minutes longer than it should have I'm just now pulling up to Fred Meyer between getting a phone call or actually text message from my daughter which I can't answer while I'm driving so I pulled over and called her and getting taking the wrong turn a couple times despite the fact how many times I come over here um, and construction yeah let's just say I got I got it took me a while I got lost so anyway we're here now I also haven't had any food I've had coffee but no food this morning so that could be part of the problem but anyway we're here now and I'm gonna get my shopping done so I can go home and have something to eat that's a thing I'll be back. Project on the sewing machine in the new house at the new sewing table. A uh, quick and easy, simple uh, fabric journal cover. One that's reusable, so you can, when this journal is full, I can put it in the library downstairs. I can take it out of here. 
and I can put a new blank one in. It's um, size to fit a small delusions journal, but as I was putting it together, I thought maybe, hang on. Oh, the phone. Yeah, I was right. It actually would fit a moleskin kaye. Actually, you could fit two or three of them in here. Um, you could take them and using um, an elastic sort of Midori style, elastic two of them together, put the front of one cover inside one flap and the back of the other cover in the other flap and it fits it just fine. And you could probably even get more than that in here. Um, I love that. So, plus it's pretty. I am going to do some hand bead work on here. I know it's already pretty sparkly and shiny. Um, but I want to do some handwork on here and make it super, super pretty. For right now, I'm going to, I have some of these small delusions journals and I need to sort of use them up. So I'm going to put this in here. This journal is a little stiff, uh, the cover. So they're not really intended for putting, doing what I'm doing with it. There we go. Got it. So it fits in here loosely so that I can do that with it and get it in here. Um, but I'm looking forward to doing some handwork on here, some beadwork, maybe a little bit of embroidery. Um, I'm not sure exactly, but isn't that pretty? Just scraps of fabric that I had. So much. It is Friday, I almost said February, January 25th. Um, it's late in the afternoon already, it's 3.31. We're puppy sitting again. She's upstairs with grandpa in his office. Yeah, she likes it up there, so she's up there. Um, I'm down here working on some commission and design work for my sister's business. She's really challenged me this time, Elizabeth, you've challenged me. So I'm actually going to fill up a moleskin cahier with sketches and design ideas to sort of get myself in the groove, get myself on track. Um, so we're gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna get myself into the right head space, I guess is what you could say for what she uh, wants done. Um, told her I'd work on a bunch of sketches. I'm just looking. So yeah, so I'm gonna fill up the sketchbook and get myself in the right frame of mind. Um, hopefully I'll be able to develop some concept drawings out of here. And then once we um, get a clearer image of what she wants and uh, the designs I can come up with um, then I'll, I'll work on the actual pieces for her. It'll be uh, watercolor and mixed media I think at the moment I think. Um, anyway so I'm working on that. I also finished the fabric journal this morning. Um, I did film some of it for this vlog, so if you're watching this, you've already seen that. Um, I will include some still images here of what it actually looks like when it's done, because I didn't film all of it. Um, I did add some things to the cover, some feathers and things at the end. What else? I've got to do another eyeball. 
tonight and I have to do my daily uh, prompt sketches for the different groups I'm drawing for and we might go like do some more neighborhood exploring tomorrow for a few hours we'll leave probably leave Lily Hill here in her crate um, Yeah, it's been, you know, just a quiet day. The husband's working from home and, you know, it's just, yeah, quiet Friday. We're good with that. The kids are out of town. Um, visiting California family. And so, yeah, that's why we have Lily. So that's fine. So, yeah, I'm on the couch. I've been up and down the stairs a few times, but I'm going to keep working on my, my concepts. And... Uh, I need to place an order on Amazon. I should probably do that first because there's some things I need. Um, by the way, this is one of my favorite sketchbooks. It's Moleskine Kaye. Um, I get them in a three pack. It's the unlined plain drawing paper. Works great. Um, I do have one that I make that I love. Um, and they do have this in a smaller size that I also love. So just, you know, uh, I love that. And if I'm gonna do work that needs to be scanned, and turned it turned into a digital image then I use Bristol vellum paper because it has no texture um, and you don't get distracted by the paper the texture of the paper in the scan um, or I use hot press which I'm not a big fan of but again it's very smooth I also don't use neon colors in something that's going to be scanned um, and I limit the use of metallics because none of those things scan well. So there, there you go. <laughs> um, and if I do accidentally create something that has one of those in it, then I have to fiddle with the image like forever to get it right. So anyway, in the um, instance of a commission like this, the way personally I work um, is that the person who pays me once they've paid me um, they get um, all of the samples, all of the concept drawings, and the originals. I don't scan them. Once the actual artwork is done, I'm done. And they can take it and reprint it and scan it and turn it into whatever they need to. And they bought it, so it's theirs. Um, yeah, that's how I work anyway. Sometimes if they don't want the concept drawings, I'll keep that, no, like notebook, um, and then give them a, it depends on the client. So anyway, my sister, uh, who knows what she's, I don't know, she's gonna, my sister, so if she wants me to like sign all the drawings in the concept drawing sketchbook, I can do that and send it to her. So that's it right now. I ain't got nothing else right now. <laughs> all right, I'll be back. Hey guys, haven't vlogged all day today. It's almost four o'clock. We've been out running errands. We're gonna go take Miss Thing there for a W-A-L-K and get the mail. We're puppy sitting again this weekend. We had the nerve to go out this morning and run errands without her and boy was she not a happy camper when we got back. Anyway, there's a couple houses in the neighborhood for sale so we're gonna go walk around, check them out, get the mail after we figure out the dog harness. <laughs> so, old Kate I swear, but we're having trouble figuring out the dog harness. It's a thing. And we bought some deer corn to feed Bambi. Don't tell the neighbors. I wasn't quite ready with the camera, but um, <laughs> our little princess just saw a squirrel and she nearly pulled grandpa over trying to chase after it into the woods. That was pretty funny. I'll be back. Hey guys, it is late on Saturday and I don't even know what time it is. Let's see. Eight. What time is it, Fred? 8.34. 8.34. And we, I started chatting with some friends. Fred cooked dinner. He did a great job. Thank you, Fred. Uh, Lily made an appearance. She's over there sleeping now because, you know, it's a dog's life and she's exhausted, you know. <laughs> no. Anyway, I started painting and drawing and I did today's eyeball and um, I almost forgot to close the vlog. Oops. Tomorrow we have a live broadcast on Intervals of Sanity, the other channel I have with some art friends. If you don't know about it, I'll link it in the description below. 
We have uh, crazy, wacky, sometimes funny, sometimes serious conversations. Not all, not normally art related, but anyway, it's a fun channel. Um, we have that tomorrow. It's been a fun week. Um, quiet. Next week will be a quiet week too, I think, which is good. I'm good for I'm good with quiet. I'm working on some new products and working on a commission job for my sister and stuff working on I got a film next week I got a film Monday for you all so I'm gonna work on that I promise and uh that's it I think I will see you all next week I hope you've had a great one don't forget to like share and subscribe and I'll link any relevant links in the description below but if I forget any leave me a comment and I'll fix that um Above all, go out and have a great day. Have a great week. Do something nice for yourself because you deserve it. And I'll see you later. Bye, guys. Mm -hmm.